We do indeed. We have one of my favorite families of birds, which is an owl. It is a pearl-spotted owlet that is tucked up against the branch and is against a very white sky, which is making it quite difficult at first to identify or at least know what it was. But it is looking very, very chilly as well. It's all kind of puffed up and taking it easy and watching what's going on. Now, the reason why I know it's a pearl-spotted owlet is if you look on its sort of front area, you can see that it's got these kind of stripy little patterns that come down. It's also got a lot more spots on its head. You'll find the barred owlet, which looks very similar, has these kind of radiating lines that go out from the eye to the sort of outside of the head. And also if it turns its face, because at the moment it's only got its face kind of facing off to the to the north, but if it keeps turning you'll see little black and white sort of spots on the back of the head, which gives it away immediately. Those false eyes are the only ones that, well they're the only ones that have that false eye, so it's pretty easy once you see them turning to know that it's a little pearl spotted owlet. Now I would imagine that this little owl, they are quite active at dawn and dusk, they do hunt quite a lot at that time, so I'd imagine that this little owl might still be quite active now and then it's going to find a place to rest. Where it is quite right now would be not too bad, you can see it actually camouflages incredibly well, it's, it really does look as though it's it's part of the tree when you are further away. It's only because it moved a little bit that we noticed it. It's almost part of the, the tree when it just sits dead still. It kind of looks just like a leaf or a little branch that kind of pokes off. So you've got to really look for them. And that means that a lot of other animals will easily overlook them and not disturb them. You can see as we go back, I mean, that's still a very zoomed in view in comparison to what we've had. Becca, an owl's primary prey, it depends on the owl species. So this little pearl spotted is a big hunter of birds. They go after a lot of the small passerines, so they'll go after things like waxbills, firefinches, mannequins, those kind of things. And then you'll find that also rodents, so elephant shrews, mice, um, those kind of things would also be high up on the menu. Now you see it's kind of just twitching around and trying to find a place to sit. I think eventually it's going to get into a situation where it's going to be right up a branch that it can then camouflage. Since it's gotten quite high, you won't be able to get view of it. So it's at least it's disappeared a little bit. I'm going to just try to roll forward and see. Oh no, we're not going to be able to see it in there. It's right in a deep, thick area, and I don't think Sensor is going to be able to point the camera right up. But that was very cool to see. Nice to see an owl. They really are some of my favorite, like I said, favorite family of birds. I, 